Hey guys, getting ready to do some transfer videos, um, but before I do, I thought I'd do one on enclosures. Show you guys how I'm doing mine and what I've found and things that work really pretty good for me. So, um, these are a bunch of critter keepers, medium sized critter keepers that I'm setting up. I'm in the midst of getting them all set up. Um, some with some flower pots and, and some more with rocks and stuff like that. So, um, the big thing is with these critter keepers that I've found is these lids have way too many holes right on the top. Okay? Um, it doesn't keep the humidity in like I need. Um, so what I do is I go through and drill holes on both sides of it. Got good cross ventilation. And then I seal these tops up. And I'll show you what I mean in just a sec with that one. Um, but uh, the, when I first started I had all these tops open all this this kind of thing even on these smaller ones I put ventilation holes on the top and I was having to add water daily it just wouldn't keep the humidity in and I couldn't on the some of the species that need a, a higher humidity I just could never g obtain it my Costa Rican red knee it needs extr you know it it needs really high humidity 80 percent or greater and if I don't you can see him sitting in this uh, He'll sit in the water bowl because um, he need because he's just he needs that humidity. So, but as soon as I did this to the cage, his his enclosure put these ventilations on the side, sealed this top up. I was able to keep the humidity where I needed it. And for others like the G roseas that don't need that kind of humidity, I have dry substrate. I keep it dry over here by their by their uh, hide, and then when I fill their water bowl, I just let it overflow a little bit, get a little bit of dampness down on the substrate and it's perfect for them. So, and it'll keep that same humidity there for quite a while and I'll have to add water daily. Um, when you get a lot of teas, it's it's a lot of checking on them and if you have to add water to all of them, it can take up a good part of the day. Um, these smaller ones, you've seen a lot of my uh, teas in these smaller containers. You know, these are cheap. They're only like a buck. Um, I had holes all the way around the top and I've now gone through and uh, sealed them up with hot glue and I've got holes all the way down the sides, a few on the back, both sides, good cross ventilation. I keep the front open, there's no holes in the front so I can see when I got them all stacked up I can see in there. But uh, So they work pretty good for the medium sized guys, some of them are getting too big. My red and whites I think are the ones I'm putting in here. They're just getting too big and I need a little higher um, enclosure so if they run on me I'm able to get the lids on before they get out. Um, if they try to take off the where they're at now and these little things, man they're out and I'm, they're, I'm not going to be able to stop them. So and this is another one I'm going to do. I think I'm going to do a transfer video into it. Um, this is acrylic. It's not glass. It looks like glass but it's not. Really clear. Easy to see. Uh, I've drilled holes on the sides, the back, and then I've left the front with no holes in it so it gives me a clear view. Really pretty. Um, I think I'm going to put my Barneo black in that but I'm not sure yet. Um, he's going to be kind of small for that but but he's kind of big for the little one I've got him in so so I think I'm going to do that for him. So anyway for these tops let me show you kind of what I mean what I'm doing. You can see on this, I don't know if you can see that, but it's all plastic. It's all covered in plastic. Okay? Completely, completely sealed. And I keep this so I can use it. It's open through there. So I can still use that. I don't usually use it much, but, but you can. And what I do is I take, this is kind of like plastic wrap, like what you cover with food, but the stuff that I use, it's, um, it's what they wrap boxes on pallets to keep them on the pallets for shipping. And they just it's just like a wrap. It's almost exactly like food wrap, just a little more thicker. Um, it's, uh, it's easier to work with in that thin stuff. But uh, this is what I use. I just unfold a, a portion of it and then take a hot glue gun and right around where this lit where this opening is so you can use this opening. I just run me a bead of hot glue really quick. around that lay that out just like that 
Okay, now I can come back with a, you know, a razor knife after that's dried, cut that little section out, and then you can use that little hole. And then you just go around. I start in on the inside edge, do a bead, push that down in there. This is really quick, really easy to do. Let's cut this off so I'm not fighting it. Okay, so again on the inside, quick bead down it, like that, in here, try not to touch the plastic, the hot glue will melt it. Just like that. Like I said, this is really easy, really quick, and it keeps that humidity in great. So now I've done that inside, now I go back out where this lid um, connects, and I do it up there too. And that's just so the plastic's tight to it. Um, and. Uh, so it's not all loose in there, it looks better, it's hard to see, you know, you really can't tell when the lid's on, you can't tell at all that that's, that it's all sealed up. I think it looks neater. It's not messy, not trashy looking. And it won't affect your lid closing at all. So... I'm just running on that inside rail. Just like that. That's all it for gluing it. And then just go back through with scissors or a razor knife. Cut it right close to the bead of glue. You know, so it's so it's not sticking out when you've got the lid on. like that okay this is dry now so I'll go through with the razor knife cut that out it's not the sharpest razor knife I need a new razor in it okay just like that see so, you still have complete access here. I'm gonna trim that out, get that little plastic out so you can't see it. But you got complete access there, and then there's no ventilation through the top. So then all your ventilation is all gonna be cross ventilation that you need, so you gotta get good cross ventilation holes. Front, I'm gonna put a, probably put a couple here. Um, Cause I always pop the lids, I like the lids off to feed them. I don't, I like to see, and that's why I hardly ever use that. You know, this little hole here, you know, I never hardly ever use that because you just can't see much. So I always pop the lids. But anyway, good cross ventilation, keeps the humidity in, works really great. They seem to, seem you know, it's easy to control. You can control your hum humidity a lot easier and not having to add water all the time. So, yeah, that's pretty it. Um, nothing to it, you know. So we'll hopefully we'll do some 
some new uh, transfer videos. I'm going to put a couple uh, Choco knees in those. They're getting big enough, I think, for those enclosures. Once I get them out, we'll see. And uh, do an attempt on a, a uh, transfer video on that one. So, okay. Well, there you go. Appreciate you guys watching. Talk to you later.